every kid wanted to share their anxiety and or use Ricky's death as an excuse to get out of P.E. Either way, it was an annoying misuse of the system because I was relegated to the back of the line. It's gonna be okay. No one ever died getting touched by their uncle. My girl, get up here. Seriously? Hey, 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 hold up. Don't be haters. Jenna had a reservation. Yeah, I know there's a list, Scott, but she used invisible ink. It's how I maintain confidentiality. Believe me, you'll appreciate it when you need to go black ops one day too. Is Ricky's death bringing up some intense stuff for you? Actually, in a weird way, it is. Are you being safe? Funny you should ask, that's sort of why I'm here. Can you hold up your arms? Oh, okay, why? I just want them to stay where I can see them so we don't have any more you know, accidents. Are you suggesting that Ricky's death wasn't an accident? I'm not suggesting anything. I, I just don't want any more blood spilled on my watch. Or carpet, especially since it just got steam cleaned, which took months to get approved. Ugh, district budgets. Anywho, so, break it down. Or break down, you can cry in here. I don't really want to cry, I just want to talk about how I've been blaming myself for a little sexual indiscretion. With Ricky. No, I wasn't involved with Ricky. Except for this one super drunk and drug moment we had at a party. Are you guys freebasing? No, but that story isn't really relevant to why I'm here. I want to talk about Maddie and me. Okay, but where does Ricky fit into this equation? He doesn't. Then why are you in my office? Oh, there are people waiting outside to talk about a dead person and you want to talk about yourself? Shame on you, Jenna. Shame on you. Kids. I'm making an announcement. I am downgrading myself from VP to GC. What this tragedy has proved is that you all need me to be more selfless for all of you. Whoever buys me a candy bar can go next. See, Jenna, not everything has to be about you. Val made a good point. Not everything was about me. Yeah, you, let's go. It took two to tango, and it was time to rationally explain that to Maddie. You need to stop being so horny. I am not just some lady of the afternoon, and I am more than just your personal jolly juice receptacle, Maddie. I know. And I don't want to start thinking about being an adult right now or dealing with my own issues of life and death. Following? Sort of. Good, because I need to know that you are in this for me and not just my fun house. I have to go. But before the vigil tonight, you need to ruminate on the error of your ways. What the hell is going on with these girls?